What's up guys, it's Kelly and today I've got another swatch review for you. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new stuff and let's get started. So I'm super excited about today's video, although let's be real, when am I not excited to show you guys new nail polishes? But the reason that I'm excited today is I'm actually partnering up with Enchanted Polish to show you guys their brand new fall 2020 collection. And this collection is a little bit different from all of the other fall collections that I've reviewed so far. So you guys may remember back in April of this year, Enchanted Polish came out with a collection called the Rainbow Collection, which was seven linear hollow polishes in every color of the rainbow. I was super obsessed with them. The formulas were just incredible. I have a video on it if you guys want to check that out. But today I'm going to be reviewing the Dark Rainbow Collection, which is exactly what it sounds like. We've got a fall version of those rainbow linear hollow polishes and I'm extremely excited about it. I literally just said in a video recently that I love when brands or polishes have like a callback to something that they did previously that's like a little like remix of it and that's exactly what this is. I'm very excited. I think I said excited 80 times already in this intro, but that's just showing you how excited I am. Now when I first saw these I thought that they were extremely similar to the original Rainbow Collection but they are actually pretty different. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be showing you guys side-by-side -side comparisons of each color in the dark rainbow version versus the regular rainbow version so you guys can see that they are actually pretty different. Before we get started with the swatches just a little bit about Enchanted Polish if you guys haven't heard of them before. They are an independent nail polish brand based in the U.S. They are 14 free meaning they are free of 14 of the dangerous chemicals that are often found in nail polish. They are vegan, they are cruelty free, and they have massive bottles that are 16.5 milliliters. I always thought they were 16 milliliters, but I just checked. Apparently they're 16.5, so you're getting even more than I originally thought. But yeah, so let me show you guys the swatches, all of my comparisons so we can see everything side by side, and then we'll talk a little bit more about pricing, availability, and all that good stuff. So, roll footage. So as with all of my swatch and review videos, I am going to be using base code underneath all of my swatches just to protect my natural nail and prevent any stains so I will link the one I used in the description below. So we'll just go in rainbow order here and then I'm going to show you guys comparisons of each color but the red shade in this collection is called Cranberry Woods and as you could guess from the name it is a really beautiful deep cranberry red and it does have that linear holographic finish. As you can see it was pretty much a one coater for me as were all of the other shades in this collection but I am showing you guys two coat coverage of each of the polishes and then I'm also showing you guys two coats of the comparison polishes polishes just so you can see what that looks like but yeah just a really impressive formula. I have now come to expect that Enchanted Polish has this incredibly smooth buttery consistency and it's just so easy to work with. I do notice that when I'm painting on the polish it's slightly less holographic but as the color dries it does become more hollow so you can see all of that beautiful hollow shine coming through once the polish is completely dried and of course you can always put top coat on as well and it'll still be beautifully holographic. So here is the comparison of Cranberry Woods with Over the Rainbow from the original Rainbow Collection. And as you can see, Cranberry Woods is a lot deeper and darker. It's more of like a garnet, whereas Over the Rainbow looks like more of kind of a ruby color where it's like very bright and candied. So we're definitely looking at two noticeably different colors here. Next up, we have the shade Pumpkin Town. And as soon as I saw this name, I knew I was going to love this one because I am really enjoying oranges for this fall. And this is really the perfect fall orange. It's like a nice deep orange shade that has just a little bit of dustiness to it and a little bit of like a deeper darker vibe and I thought it was absolutely gorgeous. On the first coat it is pretty much full coverage but I did notice that on that second coat it does look a little bit deeper and darker so I actually do prefer this in two coats and I think it's a really beautiful color. It's perfect for pumpkin nail art if you want to have some holographic pumpkins. I think that would be absolutely adorable. But yeah here it is when it's dry so you can see that beautiful hollow shine coming through and of course it looks even more holographic if you're looking at it in sunlight. These are very hollow polishes and my lighting really doesn't do them justice. So here is the comparison of Pumpkin Town with Rainbow Lava from the original collection. As you can see again very different. Pumpkin Town is a lot more muted and darker and Rainbow Lava is a lot more saturated of an orange. Next up we have the shade Harvest Hayride and this is actually a really interesting color. It is yellow at its base but it definitely has a little bit of like a brownish undertone and with that holographic pigment it almost looks like it has a little bit of a chartreuse vibe to it like just slightly 
slightly greenish and I think it's that kind of ugly pretty color that I absolutely love. I know it can be hit or miss but for me it is definitely a hit and I do think that this really has that fall vibe to it so I'm really enjoying that. I think it's like the perfect leaf color and it just feels, I don't know, it feels very fall doesn't it? And by the way I gotta say I absolutely love the names of this collection. It's just really reinforcing my love and excitement for the fall season which is my favorite time of year as I've said a million times. So here's the comparison between Sunshine and Rainbows and Harvest Hayride. I would say honestly these two are probably the most similar out of all of the comparisons I did but still very different. Harvest Hayride is clearly a lot darker and it has a lot more of that brownish undertone to it and the hollow really does have that greenish undertone as well. Next up we have the shade Countryside Market and this one is actually probably the most different from the original Rainbow Collection. This is a very olive toned green linear holographic polish and honestly I do not think I have anything like this but this feels very much like a Halloween shade to me and maybe that's just because it's like again that really ugly pretty color that I love to see but I really feel like this is a very unique base. I certainly don't have any holographic colors like this. I was really excited about it. I think it's such a beautiful shade. Definitely very unique. I think I said that a million times already but I can't stop. It's just super different from anything I own and I think it's absolutely stunning. The hollow showed through so beautifully as well. So here is the comparison with the Rainbow Connection which is the green from the original Rainbow and as you can see couldn't be more different. These are extremely different colors like not even the same base. Next up we have the shade October Sky which is a beautiful dark teal linear hollow polish and this one was another one that I felt was really interesting and unique. It really does look like a stormy fall or winter sky. This color I definitely see myself using a lot in the fall but also a lot in the winter just because I absolutely love this as a base color or I mean honestly just on its own all of these shades are really beautiful but this one I was definitely very excited about. It was almost opaque in the first coat but this one I actually did need a second coat for. Still Still absolutely amazing formula, really easy to work with. These polishes do have the skinny round brush which I tend to not prefer but because the formula is so smooth and workable it really honestly doesn't even feel like it's a round skinny brush. It just feels very workable and easy to use. So here's the comparison. As you can see October Sky is a lot darker and a lot more grayed out than Rainbow by the Sea which is a very light sky blue. Next up we have the shade Lakeview Cabin and this one is a deep blue blue linear hollow. This one I almost want to call a denim but it's actually probably closer to indigo because it does have a little bit of that purpley undertone to it. I really do think that this would be such a great denim manicure base especially oh my gosh can you imagine hollow denim that would be so much fun. But yeah absolutely incredible formula. Honestly all of these just had me drooling. I am straight up obsessed with the enchanted polish formula. I don't know how they do it, how they make it so smooth and creamy yet also so this opaque is just extremely impressive. But yeah, what an absolutely gorgeous color and because it is that nice dark shade, the hollow shows through so incredibly. It looks really beautiful even in my lights which like I said really don't do the hollow justice. I think it looks nice and holographic. So here's the comparison with Lake Rainbow and by the way I love that the names reference each other. That's another thing that I absolutely love seeing brands do. So we've got Lake Rainbow and then Lakeview Cabin. Oh, so cute. But yeah, you can tell very different shades. Shades. And last but definitely not least we have the shade Storytelling and this is a purple linear hollow and this one is so beautiful. It's very dark and it's almost a little vampy. It almost feels like it has a blackened purple vibe to it but it is still bright enough that even on the nails and in lower lighting it doesn't look like your nails are black. You can still definitely see that purple coming through. But yeah this one was 100% one coat coverage. Honestly if I wore this on its own I would really only wear one coat but I am showing you guys a second coat just so you can see what that looks like and here it is. Wow I'm really in love with it. I might be biased because I'm really obsessed with purple nail polishes but they really did a fantastic job with this one. And here's the comparison with Rainbow Land which was actually my favorite in the original collection. So again you can see super different colors. Rainbow Land is very light and storytelling is a blackened purple so really different enough to own both. 
that's all I'm saying. So yeah, those are the polishes. And seriously, if you haven't figured it out from the rest of this review so far, I am totally in love with them. I love this idea. I think it's so cool. I love the idea of having, like, I'm, I'm a very seasonal person. So I love the idea of having like a fall winter version of a collection. And I would absolutely love, oh my gosh, I really hope that they do a light rainbow collection for like spring. Cause I think that would be equally fantastic. Like pastel versions of these hollows would be but yeah, so overall, definitely into them. And I think it's really cool seeing them side by side. So if you don't already have the rainbow polishes, you can kind of pick and choose which you prefer from the rainbow versus the dark rainbow. But personally, I think that they're different enough to warrant owning both of them. But I mean, that's just me, a nail polish addict and somebody who has over 2000 bottles of nail polish and can somehow justify all of them. So these polishes are available on the Enchanted Polish website. Like I said, the bottles are 16.5 milliliters and they retail for $16 USD each. The other cool thing about Enchanted Polish is they do have free shipping in the US with no minimum. So even if you just want to buy one bottle of nail polish, you don't have to pay shipping on that. But yeah, I would love to hear what you guys think of this collection. Do you have the original rainbow collection and are you planning on picking up the dark rainbow collection or have you ordered them already? Let me know in the comments. You know I love to chat with you guys and hear your opinions and if you want to tell me your favorite of each color let me know too because I feel like that could be fun but yeah that is it for this swatch and review video please give it a thumbs up if you enjoy my content and if you're not already subscribed to my channel please consider subscribing I put out new videos every Tuesday Friday and Sunday and uh that's it so I'll see you guys in the next video bye uh someone's at the door so I'm gonna do my fun fact and voiceover after because I have to go get that hi guys voiceover Kelly here sorry about that somebody came to fix my refrigerator which is broken and as much as I love you guys I also really love food so I needed that to be fixed and I am not confident enough to film YouTube videos in front of the maintenance guy so gotta do this one on voiceover but that's okay we've got a great fun fact question submitted by patreon supporter Margo and Margo wants to know where have you tried traveled and or where do you want to travel? And if traveling isn't something you want to do, what would you prefer to do instead? And this is actually a great question. I don't think I've ever talked about this on my channel, but I am not a traveler person. I feel like everybody I know always wants to like travel and visit a bunch of places. And don't get me wrong, I'm like very into seeing a bunch of places. And I think that's such a cool idea in theory, but I am in general so uncomfortable with traveling just because I have terrible anxiety. So uh, until they invent like instant transportation and like teleportation, I'm probably not gonna be doing too much traveling, but places I have been before, not too many. I've been to a few states in the US, been to to California. I, I lived in Georgia for a brief period of time. I live in New Jersey now. And then obviously I have been to New York and Pennsylvania because that's driving distance of where I live. But other than that, I I haven't really been too many places. I've been to the Bahamas and I've been to the Dominican Republic, but I've never been anywhere else. And anytime I've gone on vacation, it's generally just the kind where you like sit on the beach. So yeah, don't have too much experience in traveling. I would love to see a lot of really incredible places, but uh, I would not like to take very long plane rides to get there. So not gonna be doing that. And if you asked me before this pandemic happened, I would definitely say I love to just be home all the time. But now I'm realizing I don't really love that too much either. Either. So I don't really know what I would do instead, but can somebody invent teleportation so I can go visit some cool places? Because that would be really fun. That's it. Sorry, this is uh, me making a really weird face and doing this on voiceover, but I love you guys and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!